There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. Now, Miss Tyler, I need you to make me a promise that you need to remain rational the entire time. That means no temperaments, no aggressive behavior, no tantrums, and no violence. You understand? If there's any movements you make during the the removal of the bandages or you start to get emotional or anything, I'm gonna have to have the nurses hold you down and the anesthetist sedate you. You understand? All right. All right. Do you see any light now, Miss Tyler? Just a little. It looks, it looks gray. All right, now, um, just be very, very quiet. How about now, Miss Tyler? It's bright. It's very bright. Good. Now I'm about to remove the final layer, Miss Tyler. Do you want a mirror? No. No, thank you. No mirror. I want to wish you every bit of luck, all right? Doctor. Yes? If... If I'm still terribly ugly, is there any other alternative? Could I... Could I be sent away? Well, under the circumstances, the state does provide some equitable service for those who deem undesirables. But I want you to do bear in mind, though, that, that decision, the consequences, and the possible outcome that will be for you. So knowing that, if you would like to proceed. So you'd make me go, then? That, that would be the case, yes. If you want, we can continue on right now and just see how this goes, and then we'll deal with it from there. Be very, very quiet. No change. No change at all. 